Yo, I'm back. This is round two, episode two, number two. I'm back. So everyone has shared and kind of took the time out to look at the first video. I appreciate everyone um, that did that. It was something different for me. So I kind of, again, I appreciate everyone that took the time out to really do that. So just that, let's get down to the, um, the nitty gritty. So what I want to kind of talk about is um, Wakanda Forever. The, I don't know if I want to call it, it's no spoilers, no spoilers at all. Cause I know some people that haven't seen it, some people that still waiting for $5 Tuesday. I'm sorry, I'm, I had to go see it. I'm usually the person to wait for that day too. But um, <laughs> I don't know, the movie, it was a great movie. I, don't get me wrong. A very, very great movie. I've seen people's statuses where it said this movie actually is the movie to save Marvel this year from all the movies that was failed because the CGI was terrible and the storyline was terrible. Like, are we all people that do reviews now? Are we all people that, um, that's commentary? Cause this is the generation that we're coming in where people, everybody wanna have their point of view. Like, come on now. It's a movie. Um, it's a story. We're here to understand that story and grow with the story. And I feel like the story for all of the Marvel movies that came out this year were solid. They are, all are not gonna be for you your demographic now if you're a true marvel fan and if you're a true comic book fan or a true nerd like myself you will understand these movies in a whole and see what marvel is trying to do they're trying to fix things that they messed up and try to put things back in place yeah some of the movies cg i was very terrible I'm not gonna say <laughs> strange but i'm not gonna go there <laughs> but if you caught that then you know what i mean now it wasn't a terrible movie, but it, yeah, it kind of threw me off. But from there on out, back to Wakanda Forever. When I say um, the tribute to, to um, I was gonna call it to T'Challa, where in the movie, that's who he is. The tribute to T'Challa, great movie to him. Um, everybody has said that, so again, no spoilers uh, for me. It was a great, um, tribute to Chadwick Boseman um he was a great actor um he did a wonderful thing for the movie for the uh, franchise in a whole some people are just knowing him from Black Panther but I know him from when he first started with Marvel where he was in Captain America and if he was before that then my bad but I remember him from Captain America when he first started where um his father got blew up in the, sh <laughs> the uh the building so I can say that Bucky Bucky killed his dad <laughs> but the movie again no spoilers it's a must see now I can say that I'm one for action. I'm a big person when it comes down to action. And it, it was some good action scenes, but not for the movie theater action scenes. Those action scenes that they gave, I could have waited to see those in the f comfort of my home. I could have, now, I know Tribute, everybody will have a the action. Look or have the, like I said, the it is not throwing shot at the movie and saying, oh, don't go watch it in the movie theater. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, me, if I had the opportunity to see it before I went to the movie theater to see it, I could have waited. Now, is it a terrible movie? No. Is it a great movie? It has its points. Some of the things that they did in the movie from the comics put X back um, from being a comic head and from being somebody that's into the MCU like I am, I will say this. They did have to put things into place to fix the timeline, to make the timeline work so they don't have to recast other people. So that makes it where they really had to dig deep 
into the storyline of the Black Panther and Wakanda and kind of shift things into place to making the story work. Now, do I see Black Panther lasting for a minute? Yes. Do I see um, Namor lasting for a minute? Yes. And that was the point of point of what they did. Now, also going down the rabbit hole again this is mcu introducing another mutant in the mcu i believe if i'm right this is the third or fourth mutant that they're introducing so we had um the one in black widow that the um i forgot who he was you got um the stretchy arm girl making her uh, one of the first mutants introduced. You had another one that was introduced. I forgot who you, which movie he was in or show. I think he was in Loki. And now you have Namor. So that's four mutants introduced. And now with um, Deadpool getting ready to bring Wolverine into the MCU, this is gonna be very epic. So with that being said, again, no spoilers for me. I personally do I suggest you go into the movies and watching it personally me being an action head I do not suggest going to the movies and spending the 14 17 dollars some places some places 20 something dollars do I, suggest I do not suggest just going that. be out watching a movie at the time and kind of you know how can I put it you just going out you want to go watch a movie you know, go to the movies and watch a movie. Then, yes, I can say that is the movie to go watch. Now, if... Uh, see, that's my thing. With the two hours and 45 minutes and two seconds. And two seconds. Come on. Two seconds. To pre precise. Me being a comic head and me being somebody that has been into the, uh, the media field... Lately, unfortunately, the movie was spoiled for me years ago. I had got my hands on the synopsis of the movie, so I already knew what they were gonna have the movie about. And that's the downfall, so it was spoiled for me, and I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I will say Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a great movie to go watch. But if you're someone like me, just go to watch it. Don't go trying to critique things don't go trying to um find out things if you're with anyone if you're by yourself then by all means necessary search look for easter eggs because there's a bunch of them look for pointers because there's a bunch of them look for future mcu movies because it's a bunch of them in this movie um marvel did point out that this movie will pay the way for other movies if it is a big success and we already knew it was going to be a big success wakanda um black panther one was a great success so why black panther 2 wouldn't be a great success even though we don't have chats with both chat with bozeman we had um a strong cast in the first one and we had that same strong cast in the second one um missing the two actors even though we missed those two actors um they still found the way to you know get credit with credit other than that there's nothing I can bash about the movie like I said I'm I'm a big strong person when it comes down to comic books and storylines Marvel comic um, cartoons I've watched practically all of, um, the Young Avengers cartoons so um, all the Avengers cartoons and it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot so you have to take the time out to want to take the time out to go watch Wakanda Forever this is not something I'm being advertised for this is my review I review the movie as a great movie to go watch again it's a movie to go watch with friends and family that's actually going to appreciate the movie please don't be like the people that was in the movies with us yesterday with their kids. They had babies in there. That is not a movie for babies if you can't control 
your kids because you got other people that want to watch the movie as well and want to enjoy it and want to understand it don't mess it up for those people it was a great movie for um for what it was but a lot of parts i had to miss because it was crying kids and you know that that was my only thing i wish i could went premiere night you know just to get the feel of everybody dressed up everybody in a part of it that's what i really wanted to do but it's been a hard week for me again everyone i appreciate everyone that's taking the time out to check this out if y'all want more videos like this or more content from me just let me know y'all have a blessed one i holla true